why am I meme children? So, for as long as I can remember, I wanted to try wearing a corset because it was just such a symbolic piece of clothing. I was really interested in how it works and how it feels and if it's really that bad and if it really makes your waist that small. Sorry if my voice is weird. But it's, it's, I just woke up, okay. So then I realized there are some people in Poland making corsets and I was like, I'm gonna give it a try. So I saved some money and I contacted a talented corset maker and she made me a corset that was based on a Victorian era pattern and it was made to measure. So I got this beauty made and I've shown it in one of my videos already. It's this blue embroidered corset, which is pretty historically accurate. I mean, obviously it was machine, machine sewn and everything, but it's based on 1850s patterns. So it has this really long straight line right up to the waist and then kind of pokes out to accentuate the hips. And today I'm going to attempt, probably for the first time in my life, to wear it the whole day while doing my regular stuff. We'll see how that works. Why is it getting brighter? What the hell is going on? So let's let's get ready for some broken bones, crushed lungs, moving intestines, fainting, overall horror and death. Are you ready? I've worn this corset multiple times before and I've only worn it to particular events like balls, picnics and stuff like that. And it's always like only a couple of hours and I'm a kind of a person that moves around a lot. So corsets are not ideal for me because they kind of restrict your movement. We'll see how that works in kind of day-to-day -day chores. <laughs> I've been wearing corsets before, so there's that. But I'm not wearing them on a daily basis. It's like once every six months or something and it's only for a couple of hours. So then I'm not an expert. I know a couple of people that actually wear them on a daily basis. So it's possible and it's not gonna make you die. The thing is though, they usually wear modern corsets, whereas this one is practically Victorian, it's historically accurate and it's really long. Also, I'm gonna tie it, I'm gonna put it on before I eat my breakfast, so we're gonna see how that affects my eating skills. Without further ado, I'm gonna get dressed. Okay, so I put a t-shirt on, so I have the sort of underneath, underneath layer under the corset. Usually you would wear a chemise. That's a thing that I hate about modern period dramas is that people just randomly pretend women wear corsets without anything underneath. Like what would be the freaking point? They would get marks, it would be uncomfortable, it would be itchy, they would have to wash the corsets all the time and you used seal boning in corsets. So like give me one good reason why you shouldn't wear a chemise underneath. Please educate me. So um Let's put this bad boy on. Now there is also this myth about Victorian women having maids to do it for them. Obviously if you could afford a maid you would probably have her lace your corset, but there were plenty of women who couldn't, so they would have to do it on your on their own. And it's not impossible because it's not like you have to apply the string into each hole and stuff like that. It's pretty much you have the lacing ready and you just have to sort of tighten it, so... So basically what happens here is we have like the top lacing, which I'm not usually using because it's um, annoying, so I'm just gonna tie the very top bit of it and it's still gonna stay in place, hopefully. One of those is drastically shorter than the other. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start doing it sort of like medium tightness and then I'm gonna wait like 10 minutes and reapply it. Your body usually needs a couple of minutes to adjust to the fact that there is something on it. So I'm already feeling a bit uncomfortable because I'm not being able to completely like lean down. Instead I have this straight piece here that's kind of preventing me from doing this and I have to keep myself straight, which is not a bad thing. If you have troubles with keeping yourself in an upright position, this is the thing for you. Okay, it's been a while. I think we, can, we are ready to tie it a little bit tighter just so it's more historically accurate. I'm trying to feel the moment where it's sort of tight but also comfortable, like I don't want to go too tight. Okay, I, I think that's enough. So this is sort of the effect it gives, like it gives you this waist thingy without being too extreme. 
So now I'm gonna wear my actual clothes. The corset doesn't really show that much. Like this piece here is a bit odd and I have a third boob, but otherwise it's not really that visible, which is surprising. Obviously, if I do this, you can kind of tell. So the problem that I definitely did not foresee is that none of my clothes would fit. So instead I wore this skirt, which is on an elastic band. Now I'm gonna move on to a very interesting part of this experiment, which is eating my breakfast. As to breathing, I normally have some weird breathing problems. Sometimes I just talk too much and I need to like stop and go like... <gasps> so it's possible that I will experience some breathing problems with this. I already feel like it's a bit limiting to my lungs. <sighs> Let's go eat! So here is my beautiful and impressive breakfast, which is a bowl of cereal and two sandwiches. This is usually the amount of food I need and I eat. So what happened was I kept eating the cereal and it felt okay. And then when I was in the middle of the first sandwich, I kind of felt that I'm really full and I am not going to eat the second sandwich. Like there is no way. So then I went on to do my makeup and my hair and it didn't affect it at all, like I could just raise my hands as, as usual, so didn't really do anything. Okay, so I had the first little crisis because I was trying to brush my teeth and I always lean over the sink, like I'm always kind of like bended and of course it prevented me from bending, so it was really hard because my muscles were really tense. I mean, I am also kind of convinced that's because my muscles are so weak, they just can't really handle, but that's what I've noticed. So yeah, if you want to lean over for a, a longer amount of time, then corsets are not the best option. Then I went to work at my computer for a little while and it turned out that I can only do it in a very straight position because like when I tried to do what I usually do, which is lean over, like be slouchy, it didn't really allow me to do that. So there is that. I had to be straight all the time. What I discovered next is that it's really difficult for me to find a comfortable position to sort of like rest on my bed because it's just really stiff and yeah, you just can't really be messy. Like you just have to sit up basically. And then the famous dilemma of putting your shoes on. Like you can do it, it's just complicated and you have to do things you would not normally do. Like you just have to stop and think. Okay, it's super windy, so we're probably not gonna be able to hear anything at all. So far, walking is okay. I feel like my hips are swaying a bit more than they usually are, like my legs feel a bit weird. Here is what I walked like. You can't really tell the difference. You can't really tell I'm wearing a corset at all. So it's interesting because it's beginning to be more and more comfortable and I wonder if it's gonna stay that way. My body is getting more used to it, I guess, so we'll see. So then I went to do some groceries, yay! So I still at the grocery store. It wasn't even that bad. It's just that if you have a lot of um, stuff that you bought and it's getting heavy, lifting weights is not exactly the thing you want to be doing with your person. Okay, so it's almost 3 p.m. and I'm beginning to feel a little bit uncomfortable. And it's not because the corset itself is uncomfortable, it's just that it prevents me from doing things I would normally do, such as weird unhealthy positions or things like laying on your bed can be difficult and also I just had dinner and I'm feeling a little bit more full than I usually am. I mean I'm the kind of person that eats dinner, feels full and then is hungry like two minutes after. Now I don't think I'll be that hungry in about an hour or so so and it's really I think the worst thing is though that I <laughs> have some really unhealthy positions when I'm working at my computer and right now when I'm trying to work at my computer I need to be straight and it's really uncomfortable 
and it's funny because at the same time it's uncomfortable for me but it's more healthy for my spine and my back so I'm kind of torn. See this is the thing like I I usually like I'm half lying on my bed and I can't do that. It's just like hello. So then I wanted to see if it affects the way I run or if running affects the corset in any way. Why? Because you look like Dwight. But it didn't really do anything. I am now not entirely sure whether I'm tired because of the corset or whether I'm actually that lame. So it is now half past four and I actually forgot I had my corset on. I mean, my thighs feel a little bit uncomfortable because the corset, like the boning, keeps poking my thighs but that's because the corset is so long i think if it wasn't that long it wouldn't be that bad but then again it's a reproduction of a victorian era corset so that's what would happen back then an hour ago i was about to take it off because it was so annoying i think i'm gonna give it an hour or two more and we'll see if anything changes. Right now I'm just sing sitting in my, in my computer and not doing anything really. Walking around the flat as I usually do, just doing normal stuff, so nothing really changes. Okay, this is a little bit uncomfortable, but at the same time it keeps me straight, so it's not a bad thing. So usually when I'm reading, I keep my legs up and I'm like in this really lame position and I can't really achieve that because, because I can't breathe this way so I need to keep myself straight all the time. Okay, let's sum everything up. So, I'm still not dead, I still can breathe and none of my ribs are broken, so there's that. The only things that make me feel uncomfortable is just the fact that I still need to wear it and I'm not used to it. But it's not any worse than it was a couple of hours ago. It's not preventing me from doing things I would normally do. Like, it, it forced me to do some things differently, but it didn't pre prevent me from doing those things. It's not deadly. Corsets won't kill you. And I, I can already hear some people going like, oh, but you only wore it for a day. Like, try wearing it every day for 25 years. But the thing is, like, you're wearing bra every day. Some people are wearing high heels every day. Actually, I've noticed a lot of things today that were, again, preventing me from maintaining this unhealthy lifestyle that I have. Because the way I work at my computer, the way I sit, the way I lay down, is not very healthy for my spine. Whereas the corset forced me to keep myself in an upright position the whole damn day. And it really, like, whenever I wanted to slouch, whenever I wanted to kind of loosen up a bit and like go, uh, it just didn't let me do that. And I personally think that's a very good thing. So if there are any things that I did not like about today is, first of all, the back of the corset is showing through my shirt and that again is something that could be prevented by just wearing some additional layer. The second thing is it's really warm. It didn't prevent me from running, it didn't prevent me from walking long distances. The only thing is when I'm trying to lay down the way I usually do, it won't really happen because it's too stiff. I actually can't wait to take this off right now. <laughs> You have to undo your lacing first be before you remove your corset because otherwise if you like pop out of it it's even dangerous for your bloodstream and everything because there is like so much pressure and then suddenly it's all gone. Whew. Oh, it feels oh, it feels good. It feels good to to be slouching again. Hmm. Oh, I missed this. Now the very last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure my waist. Even though I'm pretty sure the measurement has not changed at all, but just to prove you that it's not enough to wear your corset for a day or like just go tight lacing once. Yep, my waist still the same. This is it. Thank you for watching. I am so happy I can just lean over like that and talk to the camera normally. This experiment is over. Let me know if there are any other weird experiments you would like me to do that have something to do with Victorian era clothing or like old style clothing in general. Uh, now I feel like eating. Now I'm actually getting hungry. So, bye. I'm out. Or
around me or from 